Morning, y'all. It is still morning. I decided to finally crawl out of bed. You can only watch so much of Fixer Upper reruns. And somehow or another, I've gotten hooked on that show. I don't know why. It's always the same, but it's a lot of fun. Anyway, I came into the kitchen to fix myself something to eat because it is almost <laughs> lunchtime. I had nothing to do today, so I decided to do nothing. <laughs> But I have about eight projects in my head, and it's like, oh my gosh, you've got to get this done, you got to get this done, and wouldn't this, make, make, and wouldn't this make you feel so much better? So no, I'm not. So I made myself some cinnamon toast, because I really do like cinnamon toast. And um, it's got real butter, real butter, because butter is your friend, real stuff, not the other stuff. Anyway. I had a thought about miracles. You know, we all believe in miracles. Even if we don't believe, we still believe that there is an, a possibility, an opportunity for miracles. And a lot of us just wish for those. A lot of us pray for them. And, and we all want them, you know. But sometimes the miracle we get is not the miracle we want it, you know. I had a good, good, good friend who um, suffered from breast cancer for years. She had, she lost both of her breasts. She had numerous surgeries. She was always trying one chemotherapy after another. And she outlived what she should have lived. And I can remember her talking about that God wasn't finished with her yet and that she knew that he would give her a miracle. And right before she died, I sat down with her and I said, you know, maybe the miracle that God's planning on giving you, the cure that he's giving you is death. And I know that's not what you want to hear, but isn't that what you're working so hard for is to, is to leave this world and to be with God and be with those that you love? And, and you know, because that's the way I believe. And um, she just looked at me like I'd slapped her face. But later that night, we got the call that she had gone uh, to the hospital. And uh, she, it wasn't long before she went into a coma and then passed away. And I was, you know, I was very sad because it is a very sad time. It is a very sad situation. But I was also very happy because this is what she'd been working for all these years. This is what she had been praying for is to be right there with God, right there with Jesus and, and his mother. And by gosh... You know, she she's there, and, and she beat us to it. I have another friend, I have a lot of friends, um, that has suffered with ALS for over 20 years. She shouldn't have lived five years with it. She shouldn't have lived probably two years with it, but she did. She lived, she's, she's still alive. Last month, she was diagnosed with colon cancer. And, they, and she had surgery, and they really felt like they had gotten it. And, um, and they're not re recommending any treatment uh, for her. Of course, you know, with the fact that she's on a respirator and stuff like that, treatment would really be hard on her body. But I look at her, and then I look at the people that she's outlived when she wasn't supposed to. And she keeps, you know, wondering why she's still here. And I'll, I'll tell you flat out why you're still here, Erin. <laughs> Calling you out by name. Um, you're such an inspiration to the rest of us. And, and I just really wish the whole world could see your story, could hear your story, because it is such a profound story. And maybe one day we'll, we'll put it down, and it'll have a wonderfully happy ending. And, and she will admit that even if there's a cure today for ALS, it won't help her because, you know, she's already lost the, the uh, benefit of her, um, of her muscles. But... You know, I just, I, every day I pray for a miracle for her. And maybe the miracle for her is death. And, um, and I know that sounds so sad and, and so resigning. But, you know, when you, when you fought the good fight, you know, don't you want to be um, where we're all working to get, you know? My daddy, you, you know, I, I hate to bring this back to death, but, you know, my daddy used to say that, 
um, as somebody died young that it only took them like 20 years to accomplish all that God wanted them to accomplish on this earth and they were going to their just reward. And, and I know that there's some people who discount that and say that's not true. But I think my daddy was a very wise man and you know, he died at 41. So uh, it only took him 41 years to accomplish all that God wanted him to do on this earth. But I do, I pray for miracles day in and day out and I, and, uh, and I work towards you know, where I'm going to be when I leave uh, this place. And, and um, you know, but everything requires a miracle, you know. Every one of my children is a miracle. Every one of my grandchildren is a miracle. Um, my relationship with Jimmy <laughs> is a miracle. It should never have happened. But God knew what he was doing, and he put us together for some unbeknownst reason. Oh, I know what it was to make Katie and John. And those are my miracles. So I'm going to leave you with all that wisdom uh, because I have to go get in the bathtub because I've left it running while I eat my cinnamon toast. I can't wait. Oh, and I have tea too. Y'all think I'm French, don't you? I think in another life I was. <laughs> anyway, that's all I had for today. I'll talk to y'all soon. See ya.